Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things Lego. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi, my name is Troy Harris. We're from Gresham, Oregon, and these are my mocks for Bricks Cascade 2024. This one here is the Mandalorian. I wanted to do something a little bit different that I have not seen anywhere, and that is to come up with a 180-degree screen that, depending on where you're standing, you get a different view. And so I wanted to bring in the Mandalorian on this and uh, just make it something entertaining and that uh, just kind of wow everybody and also add some light, lights to it. Uh, it's a great little build. Um, unfortunately, it's my small one. So that's a caption for next year's uh, event and a mock that I have available. But uh, it's the same mock or the N1 fire that I had last year in my build. And uh, I just added lights to it this year. The lighting is spectacular in there. How did you kind of incorporate that inside the build? It, I had to tear it apart, which was not fun because some of these pieces are like, you know, barely hanging on by a couple studs. But uh, ran all the wires on the inside and ran it down below and and then on a controller that's inside. So it's, uh, it's a kit that I got online and uh, I just I just love it. So one uh, channel controls the flicker of the lights in the engines and another one is running the lights that are in the front. So basically, I mean, people come and tell me this is exactly what um, and how they filmed the Mandalorian using a 180 degree screen. I'm going, that's right, they did do that. So a lot of people are you know, incorporating the, the two items together, which is awesome that they can do that. How did you create this backdrop here? It looks like, are those all one by one tiles? <laughs> those are all one by one tiles. So for the star pattern, there's two tiles. Um, we have the larger star, which you can find in the Cosmos uh, Lego set. The other ones are actually decimals from an old uh, sets, the the text messaging sets, and uh, those are a lot harder to find. So I, I bought most of what was out there. But yes, a lot of one by one tiles. So I did the front and I did the back. So I wanted to all incorporate, you know, both sides of it just so it's more conducive and it just looks finished. So you get to see both sides of it. And what is holding up kind of this big round section? What's keeping that all together? Gravity. <laughs> So it's connected um, on this point here, in that corner, and in the very back. So that's the only points that are holding it up. And then how did you make the, the kind of base of this here? I see those big, larger tiles as well. The 8x16, I like the mat. I was going to do it in uh, 2x4s, 2x6s, and the gloss. It just didn't look right. And then I um, changed it up, and I had a few of these at home. I said, the mat looks a whole lot better. And it, uh, it doesn't shine with the lights or anything, and so it just makes it look really good. So then that takes us into a couple other builds with kind of uh, similar base design, but then what is this one here? So, um, like I said, these are a spoof from BrickLink, so when, after 10.55 it goes into maintenance mode. And at the top of the screen it says, you know, Stormtrooper's not a maintenance man. So I thought, this is great, I need to make something a little more full featured off of that theme. So these are the first two out of six that I have. Um, this particular one right here is the Stormtrooper is working on a TIE Fighter. And he doesn't know what the part is. And while he's trying to figure it out, the TIE Fighter is falling apart. And down below on the, the Stormtroopers and the other guards, including an RU, uh, a C unit, are running away from the scene as the TIE Fighter is falling apart. And then what's the backdrop made, up, made from there? Um, so it's just holding it up. It's not very thick. Um, I got lights in the back. The lights are actually um, behind a diffuser paper, so it doesn't look like there's a bright light back there. This kind of helps diffuse the, uh, the light out to, to kind of light it up. So it's just, you know, uh, a wall inside a hangar somewhere where they're working on TIE fighters to be stored. And I, I like how you've got kind of this wing piece kind of half falling off, so structurally, how strong is all that? Uh, don't bump it. <laughs> so the wing is just sitting on a clip at an angle, and I had to support it with a box. So the, the, that side of the TIE Fighter, you know, is smashing a box, and that's what's holding up the larger side of the TIE Fighter. And then what's this third build down here? So this was my first one, which I'm finding that everybody's loving. So we have a stormtrooper who's working on a control panel for the drawbridge, and he drops the control panel. And off to the left, the emperor is coming into where we were at here. 
And so there's no way to bring the drawbridge up. And of course, down below, there's you know lasers that are and a walkway and other equipment. And there's this going to be in a way. And we got the Imperial Guards that are looking at them going like, what did you just do? <laughs> a lot of people in danger of losing their job and maybe life. There's going to be a lot of dead stormtroopers, yes. <laughs> so I got a, I have another one that will be coming out uh, next year. And, and so I'm going to have fun building these based off of this one particular theme. It's a very unique source material for Star Wars. We've seen a lot of Star Wars builds, but none based on Bricklink. <laughs> I know. It, was just like, it just came to me one day. It's like, this was an awesome idea. Got to make more stormtroopers doing dumb things. You know, they can't shoot and they can't repair things. <laughs> I love how sleek this build is here. How did you get the, uh, the glowing kind of lasers there? So those are Kylo Ren's lightsabers. Oh. So each one has its own individual light, which is a wiring nightmare. But it's all run out the back, and, and on the back I've got panels hiding all the wires because I like to have it something complete on the front and the back. So all the wires are hidden within the wall or, or behind a panel in the back, so they're just not visible, and they don't take away from the look of the, the whole mock. And then, what are some of the other scenes that you're hoping to build in this series, and how, how, how oh, soon do you hope to have those done? I can't give that away. <laughs> Let's just say uh, on the other end of the... The area here, there's a, a collaboration for different sections of the Death Star. And mine is one that you would not normally think when you think of areas inside the Death Star. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise. It'll, have, it'll involve the Emperor and, of course, another stormtrooper doing something dumb. <laughs> I like the nice little teaser there. I also like the red kind of base around each of these builds here. So what pieces did you use to make that? How, how does that kind of fit in with the, the overall build? So these are all like dioramas, and I, I didn't want to match, you know, the typical Lego diorama the border on it. So I came up with my own idea. The dark red looks really good against the black and the other colors um, with the little the gold on the end. Just to, to finish off the whole mock, so it just has, you know, a finished look to it. Um, they're all just uh, two by fours, half rounds, tiles, and one by twos, four, six, eight, tens, twelve, black plates. <laughs> and they're all snapped on. Um, I can pull this one off. So everything's done on Mills plates. And so then I got just uh, one by twos and two by twos that stick out, and they just attach to it. And so everything is done modular. So I just come, stick everything together, and it's a complete package. Perfect. Well, great work here. Again, such a fun idea, and can't wait to see more of these builds in the future. Thank you. Oh, thank you for coming, and thank you for, for doing this. I love it. This is awesome.